Hello and welcome. Today we are going to look at the MMF3 linear motor. We will look at the features of this product, how it differs from a traditional linear motor, potential applications that it can be used for, and lastly, how motion control products can help you. Let's begin with the construction. The basic elements are the mover here and the stator track here. The mover consists of three coils and three magnets and is the primary driving force of the system. It is worth noting that the only magnets used within the linear motor are here in the mover. No other magnets are required. The stator track is constructed from steel laminations and is offered in various lengths, allowing you to tailor the overall length of the system you are building. The stator has no magnets, which should give a considerable cost saving compared to a traditional linear motor, which uses magnets for the full length of travel. Another point to note is that the stator track has very low magnetic attraction forces when it is not part of the closed magnetic circuit created by the mover. That is basically stating that when the uh, track is not interacting with the mover, then the forces, the magnetic forces generated are very, very low. Just basically the standard um, interaction forces of the system, the residual magnetic forces basically. Traditional linear motors rely on coils within the mover interacting with alternating magnets poles on the stator track. The currents generated by the coils interacting with the magnets on the track to create the force and motion. The MMF3 uses the same basic principles as a standard linear motor, but it's flipped around the other way. Here, the magnets and coils are on the mover, and the stator track acts as a path to close the magnetic circuit and create force and motion. By modulating the magnetic fields between the mover and the stator track and switching the coils in the correct sequence, it is possible to create very smooth motion with minimal cogging. Now, it could be argued that, that less magnetic means less force, and of course this is true. But here we're using the same magnets repeatedly, and it is the size of the magnets on the mover interacting with the current applied which generates the force. So the forces generated are similar to traditional motors using the same size magnets. It could also be argued that because the magnets and the coils are on the, on the mover, then they will not be able to travel as quickly as a traditional linear motor. The moving mass of the MMF3 obviously is greater, therefore more force is required to move it. However, most linear applications can still be handled by the MMF3 range of movers and stator track pieces. The MMF3 range consists of 14 moving options delivering continuous forces from 46 newtons to 495 newtons and peak forces from 165 newtons to 1527 newtons. Speeds achievable are at continuous force range from 5.2 meters a second to 12.8 meters a second from a 510 volt DC supply. So for example the MMF3 S150A, which is the smallest unit in the size, can deliver 46 newtons at 12.8 meters per second, operating from 510 volts DC. When it's delivering its peak force of 165 newtons, the maximum speed achievable is 4.2 meters a second. Some of the primary advantages of the MMF3 are no magnets on track, safe to install and maintain, cost per meter advantage as there are no magnets on the track so you're not using lots of rare earth magnets in the system which are a high cost element compared to a standard linear motor, less effect on magnetic material being handled so if you're working with a material that interacts, uh, your, it interacts with the magnets um, then this may cause it to not lay properly for instance in ink for instance. Um, 
reduce uh, foreign particle contamination effect. The range of applications used for the MFMF3 is large, and I could spend all day talking about the different applications that it could be used for. But some of the traditional applications are packaging, test equipment, uh, battery manufacture, laser cutting, medical industry, machine tool, uh, optical equipment, pick and place machines. The last is endless. Uh, the, you know, the list is endless. I could go on and on and on. New applications are being created as industry seeks to innovate, increase throughput, improve system accuracy and performance, and drive down costs. Here at MCP, we have a good understanding of the components we offer and how to integrate them into your application. We can work with you to select suitable components and assist you in the integration. The MMF3 can be provided as component only, as shown here, for those who wish to create a complete bespoke solution. It also can be supplied as a complete linear actuator with strokes up to three meters, consisting of base, carriage support and bearings, carriage, linear encoder, and, and servo drives, which allows you to buy a complete off-the-shelf um, solution and just bolt it directly into your application. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching this video. If you are interested in the new MMF3, please use the contact information on the screen or go to our website in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you very much. <music>